Hello crypto enthusiast. Recently a new cryptocurrency has been making headlines. Yes, the green currency Chia. It runs on a proof of space and time rather than a proof of work or proof of stake and is mined using a hard drive. Let's talk about what is Chia and what is the proof of space and time. Hello and welcome back. I'm your host Kushagra and you are listening to Satoshi Saturdays. Chia is a green cryptocurrency. It was incorporated in August of 2017 to develop an improved blockchain and smart transaction platform. Chia network is built to improve the global financial and payment system. Chia is using the first new Nakamoto consensus algorithm since Bitcoin called proof of space and time. It was created by Bram Cohen, the inventor of BitTorrent. Well, now what is proof of space and time? You ask. It is just as sci-fi as it sounds. You mine a cryptocurrency using hard drives. Proof of space is a cryptographic technique where provers show that they allocate unused hard drive space for storage space in order to be used as a consensus method. Proof of space must be tied to proof of time since. proof of time ensures that block times have consistency in the time between them and increases the overall security of the blockchain but how does all this work well proof of space can be thought of as a way to prove that you are keeping some storage unused on your hard disk users of the chia blockchain will seed unused space on their hard disk by creating plots which store a collection of cryptographic numbers These users are called farmers being a green cryptocurrency all the important terminology is related to nature when the blockchain broadcasts a challenge for the new block farmers can scan their plots to see if they have the hash that is closest to the challenge and of course a farmer's probability of winning a block is the percentage of total space that a farmer has compared to the entire network and then comes the time lords Proof of time requires a small period of time to pass between blocks. Proof of time is implemented by a verifiable delay function or a VDF that takes a certain amount of time to compute but is very fast to verify. The key idea of VDF is that they require sequential computation and since having many parallel machines does not yield any benefit, electricity waste is minimized. There are relatively few VDF servers or time lords as it takes only one fast and fair time lord on the network to complete a block and move the chain forward now what is the difference between mining and farming you ask mining requires expensive single use hardware like asic miners that are very expensive and consumes exorbitant amounts of electricity chia is mitigating this problem through a fair eco friendly and better blockchain that uses farming to leverage existing empty hard disk space distributed on nodes around the globe Farming remains decentralized because anyone that has installed the software and has plots can win the next block. Mining requires expensive custom single-use hardware, the ASIC devices, and access to electricity at a wholesale or better price, which only purpose-built corporation can mine profitably. Can which only purpose-built corporations can mine profitably in today's time. Farming is more decentralized because it relies on empty hard disk space that anyone with a mobile phone, laptop or corporate network tends to have extra space not currently being used. Unlike mining, once you are done farming, you can repurpose your storage for example to store your family photos. Now the real question is, is Chia a better cryptocurrency? Well, in terms of electricity usage, Chia is far better than other cryptocurrencies out there. There is a fee while making transaction but it is extremely cheap so yes chia is indeed a better currency but talking about accessibility currently there is only one wallet and you require to maintain a full node to access it you can already buy chia at many exchanges it is trading at 800 dollars right now 
Chia is still being developed, so there is a scope of a lot more improvement in all aspects. And personally, I feel optimistic about this project in the long run. Thank you for listening all the way to the end of this podcast. You can leave your feedback and questions by tweeting to me at my Twitter handle at the rate Saturday Satoshi. or you can leave a voice note at the link provided in the description i will try my best to answer your questions and include them in the next episode and your feedback is much appreciated remember of all the things that i do financial advice is not one of them to get financial advice contact your financial advisor let's meet next saturday with another episode of satoshi saturday